New South Wales police have questions to answer after a 95-year-old woman, Claire Nowland, was tasered inside a community nursing home in Cooma while she held a steak knife. The dementia sufferer is now receiving end-of-life care with brain bleeding and a skull fracture. Joining me live is New South Wales Police Commissioner Karen Webb. Thanks so much for your time. People are rightly asking this morning, Commissioner, what happened? Do you have an answer to that? Well, we've actually determined what happened, but really the, the point now is why it happened, and that's the work of the critical investigation team at the moment, to really work through from the moment uh, or even before police turned up on that night and responded to the call from the aged care facility and ambulance uh, and what led to the use of the taser on Mrs Nowland. So, again, as I said, I understand yeah. that the community want to know what happened and I want to know, as they do, why it happened. And we really need to take the proper course of action, make sure that this investigation is done properly, thoroughly, um, and that Mrs Nowland and her family get the answers that they deserve. Yeah, absolutely, and I respect that process, but, Commissioner, do we really need an investigation to tell us that this 95-year-old woman with dementia using a walking frame shouldn't have been tasered? I mean, in what circumstances would that be OK? Are there any? Well, it, it's the first time I've ever heard of it or seen it, and, as I said, we know that it has happened and it's, it's terrible. Uh, but I really want to know why it happened, and that's really... Um, we're not going to know until we review all of the evidence and consider it in light of the policy, procedures, the training, and uh, whether the officer himself um, makes comment about it. Yeah, I mean, we can see the circumstances on face value. I respect that there needs to be an investigation here, but, I mean... The best case scenario, uh, if I can put it that way, do you just think the officer panicked? That's it. That goes to that question of why. And I, I don't have the answers right now, and I'm as keen as the community of New South Wales, Australia, to find that out. But we can't rush that. I can't interfere in that investigation, and it would be improper for me to add pressure to the investigators to get those answers. But as soon as I do have answers, then I will provide an update. Is it right to even question at this point why an officer would need to take a taser into an aged care home? Well, our officers are equipped with a number of appointments that can be used um, to resolve a situation. And the officers are trained to use those items, but they wear those items on their uniform all the time that they're on duty. So they don't get to select what items they take to what job. And uh, the officer, though, makes a choice at that time based on the circumstances. And that goes to that point I made about understanding why that course of action was taken on that morning. Have you spoken to that officer? No, I haven't. And I will do at some point. Uh, as I said, it's an ongoing live investigation. He is being looked after by police from his command. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it's the appropriate time, then I will speak to him. OK, so the reason why you haven't spoken to him is because it's now part of an investigation. You don't want to prejudice that, is that right? Well, that, that's part of it. And the yeah. officer's currently not in the workplace, so he's being uh, looked after by um, the commander in that area and staff around him. Have you spoken to Claire's family? Yes, I have. I met with Claire's family on Friday. Uh, I visited uh, the family while they were at the hospital and I spent some very uh, good time with them. I talked to them about the process of the investigation, but really the um, privilege I had was to just listen to the family talk about the great life and the uh, great things that their mum did in her very full, rich life. Mm. Um, and she had a very rich life, um, lots of children, grandchildren, grand great-grandchildren, but really a strong community-minded person and often put others before herself. So it was really heartwarming to hear those things about Mrs Nowland. Are they angry at the New South Wales Police Force and this officer? Well, no doubt that will come. But at the moment, they're just focusing on their mum, and rightfully so. They want to make every minute count with her, and uh, they're all supporting each other during this difficult time. 
You say you, you're not going to watch this body cam footage yet, but you have been told about it. If the circumstances in this footage have been relayed to you, why not just watch it? Because I want to make an informed decision based on access to the whole um, evidence. The body worn is evidence in this investigation. Mm. And if I viewed that now without having the, the opportunity to view all the evidence at one time, then it may taint my view of this matter. It is important that I take an objective view and I will do that when I get the rest of the evidence and investigation. But if it's already been relayed to you, how's that objective? Well, I haven't watched it. And I, if I need to watch it as a decision maker at some point, I will do so. OK. Um, people are angry about this story. They are so exercised about how a 95-year-old woman could be at the end of a police taser. Do you understand why people are angry and and what do you need to do as commissioner to I guess restore faith in the force let me just say I understand the way the community feels and I really want the answers as much as everyone else does and we will get those answers that will just take time um, and if it is that we have to change our training, our practices, etc., then we will do so. However, I would like to say that we have over 2 million calls for service every year, and this is one event. This is not about loss of confidence of the whole police force. I have over 18,000 officers across this state protecting our community every day, every night, mm. and they do an excellent job. This is one matter that I will consider in its full context. Yeah. Commissioner, do you have a view of whether the, the aged care home should have called police in the first place? Oh, um, that's really going to be subject to the investigation and I understand our detectives will consider that in, in, as part of their investigation. Mm. Um, the call to the home, those witnesses in the home, including interviewing some of the residents of the home, which is a difficult task, um, at the whole picture, and that's really what I'm looking forward to receiving. Yeah, and Cooma is a, a, a small town in New South Wales. Um, a lot of people will know this family. A lot of people will know that particular police officer. What's it done to the community there? Well, I imagine the community is just wondering how it, how it happened, like everyone else. Yeah. Um, but it is a small, tight-knit community, and I know, meeting with the family, that they're just banding together to spend time with, with Mrs Nowland and, and we will respect that they need to do that right now. Commissioner, just one last question. The best case scenario here, I think we can assume that this officer made a mistake and he panicked. Um, is that your view of things? And with the investigation and its conclusion in the next couple of weeks, do you anticipate that there will be changes? There will have to be changes to, to training or something like that? Yeah, I can't speculate about what happened, uh, why it happened on that night. Um, but if it does lead to a review, a need for additional training, different training in response to people with dementia or any other person with a, a cognitive impairment, then we will do so. I'm very open to the need to review our practices if they have to be reviewed. Karen Webb, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Laura. Karen Webb, the New South Wales Police Commissioner there uh, on that investigation and that shocking incident just five days ago when a 95-year-old woman was tasered.